Hi, I'm Eileen Cunningham, president of Meyer Tool, a small woman-owned manufacturing firm, second generation leadership. Our passion here is manufacturing for a positive impact on the world this generation and beyond. generation leader. Uh, my dad started Meyer Tool back in 1969. Uh, before Meyer Tool even existed, he was a machinist at Argonne National Laboratory where they worked on crazy cool stuff for their national, sci you know, basic science initiatives. Um, and that's where he really learned to machine this complex equipment that we are known for today. Initially, there were some layoffs at Argonne, and he saw that, you know, despite his seniority, they might be coming his way. So he actually bought a machine, put it in his garage, and started doing work on a part-time basis out of our garage. With Argonne actually being one of his first customers, he would bid on the projects they were subbing out, and he was awarded it, you know, and then, uh, unfortunately, when the layoffs actually hit, and he was affected, he came home and told my mom, Catherine, you know, and she was a stay-at-home mom, five young children to feed, uh, and he said, I'm just gonna do this thing full-time. So he incorporated Meyer Tool in 1969, which means we've been building this crazy cool stuff for over 50 years. if you could machine one thing you could machine anything and so he wasn't a big fan of being involved in you know machining a thousand screws or high production stuff so he really stayed with his roots at Argonne and expanded into supporting all the national labs across the country international labs university market and so that's where um, we, we got some of our start as cryogenic vacuum and pressure specialists um, we have a bunch of little tubing spools in here that get shannon welded you can see we put a bunch of them in here there's actually another chamber underneath there you can look up yeah so she welded all of these in then we leak test to make sure there's no leaks once they're leak tested we can put all this mli on it insulation to keep it at the right temperature right now he's actually just installing these wires before we do any more welding but you can see we got this giant seam here all of this was tig braced in last week by hand um, and then we got a whole other we're gonna put another one of these up here, and then we're gonna put it inside a giant shell, and you're not gonna see anything on the inside. So it's very important that every step of the way, we, we test everything. We have to test the wires when it routes them, we have to weld it, we have to test the wires again, we have to leak check it, make sure there's no leaks. Every single weld, we stop and do it. Leak test, wire test, and um, cold shock test. So we use Inventor to kind of, to help us orientate this thing. Obviously this goes on a certain way, so we have to make sure that this this pipe and that pipe are all correctly oriented so that the top shell can fit on. And then all that's oriented so that it can fit all the inner spooling. So we gotta make sure it's all oriented correctly. We gotta hit tight tolerances here. We make really, you know, cool stuff, but it also is very confusing. So we need something like Inventor to keep us, you know, competitive with it. I was being groomed as a successor in 2005, 2006, when my dad, you know, had his untimely illness, and I've taken over since then. Today, we are grooming our third generation successor, so we have three people who have stepped up and want to be next generation leaders. You will be meeting them in the video, Ken, Kenny Jr., uh, Christian, and Eric. Kenny Urban, Machine Shop Supervisor here at Meyer Tool. Um, I'm in charge of the machine shop, but I'm also in charge of um, the IT section uh, within the building. Um, when it came to our software, um, we were always using Autodesk uh, for Inventor. 
Um, but we wanted to bring ourselves into the next technology in the machine shop. So that's when we started to implement CAM. With CAM, we picked up uh, Fusion 360 first. And now almost all my guys out on the shop floor use Fusion 360, along with the engineers. The engineers also use Inventor. And then with our five axis, now that we have a five axis machine, um, I use PowerMill. Uh, NextGen has been able to help me uh, with that based on uh, the, the knowledge that they share with best practices, with um, their uh, tickets of troubleshooting. I can send a, a ticket in and have some of the best uh, people come forward and, and, and be able to show me how to get the job done. Um, it was the seamless capability of having um, an inventor file, an IPT file, be able to open up in Fusion 360 or let's say Power Mill. Because we use the same platform, um, all of our work could be interchangeable. actually a fixture it's not even the part the part is just a piece of sheet metal that's been bent um, and as you can see he's got fusion up here uh, so I'm Christian Cunningham I'm the manager of the business development team here uh, at Myers School Manufacturing uh, so we're a woman-owned business who's been building the impossible for the last 50 years, right? We mainly specialize in vacuum pressure and uh, cryogenic technologies, but that's not what we're looking into, right? Uh, we have diversified solutions that from engineering to machining, welding, and testing that allow us to build anything that you have to offer. Yeah, and so the way we build the impossible is our reduced project risk process. So what that is, is we work collaboratively with customers from the quotation phase through the entire fabrication of the job. Many times when things come in here, before they leave, they may look completely different than what the customer had anticipated, right? We have, are no stranger to working with customers through two, three, even four design iterations here at Meyer Tool, and that's what really makes the difference and separates us from other manufacturers. So we got these two the helium mass spectrometers. Uh, fancy way of saying it, it's a leak detector. What it does here is it pulls vacuum on uh, anything we have, our vacuum vessels, any type of shell, um, any type of vessel, we can pull vacuum on it using this machine. And it's built to sense helium, our second smallest element. So, you know, if helium can fit in there, it's a leak. If helium can fit in there, probably not a leak. So what it does is it's connected to a vessel, say, we can pump this down and I can spray this weld here. And then if this machine yells at me, it that means I'm spraying outside with helium. It knows that it's helium is getting through Sucking here. The helium Sucking through the helium through the weld. Going into the machine, machine and letting it know there's a leak inside the weld. This thing, it knows when it, the helium's in the system, so it'll scream it. You gotta fix it. And how do we fix it? We either grind it out, weld over it, or we just get a whole new one, you know? so. Pretty, uh, pretty helpful machine, especially for the line of work we have here because everything we do has to be leak tight. All right, uh, my name's Ed Bonema. I'm VP here at Meyer. I've been here uh, close to uh, 35 years, not quite yet. And uh, Inventor fits in our workflow very well. It fits in at the front end when we're quoting. It also fits in uh, during the design phase and during the jobs. So when a quote or a request comes in from a customer from uh, to engineering, uh, we may have two different ways we use Inventor. One is when we get uh, just a step file, generally, from a customer with no drawings. It may be complex, it may be simple, but it takes a little bit of time to pull that into Inventor, convert it to an assembly, disassemble it into the parts, and work out exactly what it, they want us to build. Then uh, also sometimes we get uh, design builds where it may be a simple thing or a complex thing that we have to uh, model the components together to make sure things fit before we feel comfortable quoting it. And then of course in the design phase, if we're designing and building something, we're using either customer models or our own models to develop fabrication prints for the shop. And then also uh, vetting fabric uh, models for the shop so they can use that direct from uh, CAM to CAD, or CAD to CAM, excuse me, in the machine shop. Seeing something that was a 3D model or uh, a uh, napkin sketch, 
translated into a really value-added part that goes out the door and changes the world. Whether that's in a particle accelerator or a semiconductor application, or they're making jumbotrons or a medical device. Uh, we, we build the impossible and we change the world in a positive way. This very complex item that we have actually been building since the 1990s, uh, variations of this, and you can see this is very complex cryostat. This has variously been modeled by us and by the customer and translated into a set of manufacturing drawings. And it's something that should take about two years to build. The pandemic kind of interrupted us in our last build, but still you can see how complex that is. This is a huge file with thousands of individual parts. And this is a cross section. So we feel that we also fulfill my dad's legacy on the people component. He cared very much for the Meyer Tool family, his second family. We know that our strength is definitely in our people. Uh, so most of our projects do span the variety of departments. Every hand pretty much has, has been able to touch every project. So we all feel fulfilled when something goes out the door. What we do can be pretty tough some days. We're a lot of problem solving you know, challenges out there on the floor. And so we really try to maintain that friendly, collaborative atmosphere, that family atmosphere in here, so that everyone feels comfortable asking questions, everyone feels comfortable brainstorming and problem solving, and then, you know, that's how we build the impossible. That's how we get it to come together. We do really embody that whole uh, knowledge sharing and you know skill development and continuous improvement here and that's a lot where like next gen comes in because you know you guys are providing us with your latest technology and that's the tools that our employees need to work you know smarter not harder and to be able to continue you know moving forward on that next generation and the harder stuff that comes our way